All right, today I want to talk a little bit about this little blue box, and I'm sure Boomtown has a proper term for this, but on the top of my head I cannot think of what it's called, but I want to go through what everything means in this box. So, web activity, this price here is your average sales price based on their search. Visits is how many visits to the actual site. Properties is how many properties they viewed, and favorites is um, the, the homes that they have favorited using the heart icon. Registered. This is when they registered as a lead for the first time on the website. Source. Um, this is something that you should pay attention to, especially when you're claiming um, or following up on leads, because how you talk to that lead may matter by source. Um, but this is where you can find it. Buyer agent, listing agent, um, lender, you can assign a lender here. And typically when you hover over that, you can see their contact information. Last logged in, three days ago. That means the last time they have gone to the website, that may be different than when they're opening their e-alert, so keep that in mind. Opportunity wall, you can include them or exclude them. So, for example, you may have a looky-loo or somebody who is signed and committed to another agent but is aggressively shopping. I don't um, advocate that you exclude um, most situations off the opportunity wall because you never know. But there may be times that it's necessary um, to include, well, they automatically are included, exclude them from your opportunity wall, which is your now wall. So they're not constantly showing up as a top prospect every single day. You can always go back and include them. Address, this is where you would want to enter um, their home address if they're by cell. RPR summary. You can click this, and when you click into this, this is pretty powerful, um, but you can see homeowner information. Um, you can see homeowner information, the property, um, and basic information about, about that. I like to use this function um, to be sure that we are, um, if it's a seller lead, that the seller lead that did the home evaluation is actually on the person on title and a lot of times you can see the correlation between the two birthday this is where you would add a birthday close date this is where you would add the close date for when they um, officially sell or buy um, or close basically and the related account this is where you would add a related account if maybe somebody registered twice or there's a husband and wife combination um, mother, daughter, etc. Hope this helps.